So as you see, it's time for version 2.0 of the front display. I have new signs being printed up and I have a clockwork thing that I'm gonna be putting in there. More on that in a different video, but I have a larger version being printed and that's what you're seeing here. Perfect. That looks great. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. No, no problem. Oh, that's no problem. Uh -huh. Out with the old and in with the new. I've just transcribed them. And now I finally have this tripod mount so I can actually, I don't have to be holding the camera. I just hope people don't steal my camera, but they shouldn't. I should cut a piece of wood to hold up that sign on the battery, but yet keep it around the battery. Unless I were to hang it off the front there. Hmm. So I'm, I've been developing this as a kit. So we can sell this for like $30 and have a nice wooden base and a thing for the tally, from the, uh, the tally ho, you know, the, what the Samson Boat Company is restoring. And so I thought for the display though, that's a little bit small. So we're building a bigger one and I have that. I've had some issues scaling up the design. The biggest part is currently being printed though. And that'll take a little bit longer. And then hopefully I had all the printers running before and hopefully we have enough parts printed that I could get them done by tomorrow. All right, I cave. Before I go over to Rick's glass shop, which is down that road, I'm gonna help him fix some windows. I went in and hooked that up to the 3.3 volt rail on the Arduino. There, that's much better. And then the second, the hopefully by the time this video finishes, there'll be the even bigger version up there somewhere.
So the funniest thing happened. I had modified this in the 3D model, and apparently, so I made this a different object so I could keep it the same size while I scaled, scaled everything up. You know, since the motors are the same size, I can't get two times size motors. And apparently, this was, it viewed the middle as a void and didn't print it. of that to use up the rest of the filament I might better print another one every last inch of filament will be used and the final piece oh oh it looks so nice okay let's see where we left off ew Well, at least I know it's cured now. Oh yeah, that's pretty strong. Oh, I did have him on the right way. Never mind. I thought I had him on the wrong way. So I got us some of these little voltage changers to where it will, we can adjust the voltage now and adjust the speed. Go the chally ho. And then I went and made ourselves a, a newspaper. And this will be the, the, dis, the display. that 
Okay, so the other day it was a little busy in here and I had to wait for that to dry. I come back and Evan's put out some Pokemon. And I see this, something weird's happened with this. Um, what the world is going on? Well, at least that thing will run even... Mm -hmm. Oh, I just realized I think the battery's dead. I'm gonna take it back. Funny that that's still running though. All this humidity on the windows is causing these papers to uh, fold up. So I moved it from there to there. And let's take this and take this home. The one day I decide not to bring my multimeter, but that battery tester said it was pretty weak. So yeah, this was well and truly dead. Five volts, so that's 2.5 volts per cell. It's actually getting almost a little bit dangerously low. And I'll replace it with the cell that's 8.15 volts. That's almost a 5.06. So we're probably getting like three watts of charging. And then whenever it, the sun comes out, It'll be having 30 watts of charging. That'll probably take about two weeks to charge it. And back this one goes. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Isn't it weird that that's the only window that's foggy? Weird. sure where to put this. Maybe, maybe there. I almost need a squeegee on that, gosh. Ah, there's so much copyrighted music in this, in the coffee shop. Ah. Yeah. So there we have it. Boy, is it busy out here. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya. And yes, I'm already thinking of what can go in there for the version three.